Alrighty, what's up guys? I am back, and last episode I died in the fishing hamlet. Um, before I go get my blood echoes or anything, I actually want to take care of some things that have now opened up now that we've beaten Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. Dun dun dun. So we're actually gonna head to the underground corpse pile, and we're gonna start there. Because I've been playing uh, on another character, I have another character, and I've been playing ahead so I know what happens and what to do. And there's some, I guess it's secret stuff that I found, and I want to show you guys, and I think it's pretty cool. So, I'm just going to spend this episode wrapping stuff up, we're going to fight some enemies, we're going to have some fun. Um, last time, I don't know if you guys remember, we had gotten the underground cell key which opens up the cells under the Great Cathedral, which are down here in the underground corpse pile. We already heard what he has to say, but the, cell, the key actually opens this door right here. And from what I found out, this guy right here serves no other purpose other than to be killed and take his uh, set. But for killing him, you can see we get that entire set. And with that set, we can read it, and we actually find out who this was. If I can find it. Do -do 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 -do. Where is this stuff? Here we go. Yamamura hunter hat, a standard hunter's hat worn by Yamamura the Wanderer. This hat and staff were given to him when he became a hunter and confederate of the League. Kaki Aori, garb of a distant eastern land worn by Yamamura the Wanderer. This eastern warrior pursued beasts for honorable revenge, then became a hunter of the League. But when he, started, but when he stared straight into impurity, it drove him mad. Old hunter armbands. Old uh, old hunter armbands wound tightly to prevent infection with the scourge. Of course, the idea that the scourge was infectious was pure heresy. And the wine hakama, garb of a distant eastern land, worn by Yamamura the Wanderer. This eastern warrior pursued a beast for honorable revenge, then s became a hunter of the league. But when he stared straight into impurity, it drove him mad. So that was Yamamura the Wanderer, and as you can see, he did not fare too well. Now I'm going to take care of these guys first before I uh, start opening some cells. Oh, you dick. Got him, no. Wow. That was nasty. Boy. Well, that was a sloppy way to start off this play. Come back here. I'll dare you do that to me. Now we got some quicksilver bullets. Now we're going to open up this. This is just some frenzied cold blood right here. Continue down here. As you can see, this is the last door, and we're actually in for a surprise when we open up this door. Where's he at? Come on. There we go. Had to get him out. This guy can be a pain. Oh, shit. Now that he's stuck behind there.
Oh no, not the visceral. Yeah, this guy can be a pain just because he has the reach. And for some reason, I haven't been able to visceral him. No, and I'm probably dead there. Yep. And that's what I mean. This guy can be a pain. Because I can't seem to visceral him, but he can visceral me. And that has happened quite a few times on my other character. And I don't know if the timing's off or what, but that dude is just annoyingly hard to me for some reason. Not as bad as the, uh what was it, Kanehurst Hunter in the original playthrough, but yeah, like, as you can see, things can get a little messy, and I just lost my blood echoes, so I don't know how many I had, a couple hundred thousand, maybe, well, here's 27,000, And just fighting him in this small, confined hallway just can prove a pain. See what I mean? I can't seem to visceral him. And his that back sweep attack. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just trying to concentrate. That's how you beat him after you die a first time from getting visceral. But when you defeat him, we get the church pick. And the church pick is the Psy weapon that he was wielding. One of the old trick weapons of the healing church, a hunting weapon formed from one of the giant picks that appear in the old beast tales. The church pick initially serves as a large sword, but when transformed, functions as an extended war pick. In spite of its origins, it is a highly practical weapon. And I actually haven't used that weapon yet, so I don't know how good it is. I just know that I got it. And then we can actually come back up here. Those rats aren't going to bother us. And when we come up here, <clears throat> excuse me, when we come up here, we actually get Lawrence's skull. And then this is something else I also found out. You hit this device, and you can actually go down with it because it's a double elevator. Now, when you go down like this, we come to dun 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 this thing. And remember how remember how everybody fires cannonballs at you and they're really annoying with an AOE? Boom, we get the church cannon.
an oversized weapon used by the Healing Church, a type of cannon that fires with a curved trajectory and creates an explosion upon impact, originally designed for use by brawny men with deteriorated brains, not just for an ordinary hunter, but the men lacked the wits to effectively operate firearms, and the weapon was quietly ushered into permanent storage. Although it doesn't seem to be ushered into permanent storage with a whole bunch of guys shooting at us and trying to kill us. So, I don't know. But that is where we find the cannon at. Then we can come back up here. Operate this. Wait for it to go back down. And we will actually be going back up. And now we're back here, and as you can see, our hunter buddy, I think his name is Simon, is gone. And there is actually a couple more things to do in this research hall as well. So we'll take care of these. And I've actually learned that this is a really good place to get blood echoes. If you just look at it down really quick. Because farming is pretty nice around here. Although it can be a pain sometimes, just because of the way the enemies attack in their combos. And we actually have a couple things to finish in this research hall, like I was saying. So we can run over here. Do 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 do. And then we see. Please, I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Oh, thank you. You're terrible. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Oh. Oh. I hear the sticky sound. Do you hear it too? <laughs> oh. I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? I'll have you know, I was once a blood saint too. Sure, I'll accept happy, it. But I cannot move. Look, on my right arm, I'm sorry to trouble you. But you don't mind, do you? <laughs> Oh, there you are. Don't be greedy. I should know. Uh-uh. <laughs> Adela, the Blood Saint. Now we wait for the elevator to come down because we got a couple bobblehead people to kill. I'm just checking to see if I have any more brain fluid. Oh, and we also got uh, Lawrence's skull as well. Skull of Lawrence, first Viker of the Healing Church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast, and his human skull only exists within the nightmare. The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He is destined to seek his skull, even if he found it. It could never restore his memories. But, yep, so that is good old Lawrence's skull. Now 
gravel rock this thing out because we actually have to keep on going up. Yes, I hear you guys. I think we already killed this one. Yeah, so once you kill that one, you can't get uh, double like brain fluids or anything. Allegedly. Now I'm going to see if I can make this jump. As you guys can see, the hitbox on that lingers like no other. And I don't know why, these guys caused me a lot of trouble on my other character. Like, it took me a while to beat this area on my other character. For no good reason, really. Well, it seems that they hit stupidly hard on my other character for some reason, but not on this character. So, I don't know why that is. I'm uh, thinking because I'm not in New Game Plus with my other character. I think it also could be because I have a plus 10 weapon on here. <clears throat> but I've also been doing a little bit of thinking about the, uh, the Hunter's Nightmare and what it means. And when you actually kill Adela, the Blood Saint, before, uh, or not Adela, um, Lady Maria. When you kill Lady Maria and you return to the Hunter's Dream you actually hear her say she has this dialogue that she says she's been freed and I will try and see if I can get that dialogue next time when we go back to the hunter's room but she says that she has been freed and it feels like her shackles have come undone I believe <coughs> oh excuse me again <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much but yeah, her shackles are free, and everybody, and I believe that based off the lore that we get from Lady Maria, that the doll was actually modeled after Lady Maria. But that's just my theory. Like I say, I don't know exactly how correct that is. It's just my theory of it. And these guys still do hit hard. But not as hard, apparently. And the what... The, what happened to this research hall is just a mess. It's a mess in this mess. The research they were doing in here, I guess. 
Jess trying to ascend people into becoming great ones obviously didn't work out as planned. Although I do like the regain, how you can keep regaining after you kill certain enemies. And you can see down there, that's where we got the block shield before. This is another corpse room. The atmosphere in this game is also something else. And this uh, Hunter's Nightmare, I believe, story-wise, like timeline-wise, that it happens concurrently with uh, what is going on in the real world. I don't think this is set in the future or the past. I believe because of what... Uh, what the doll says that it happens concurrently with what's happening in the hunt in the real world like timeline wise it happens concurrently with it but all but the things that happened in the past stayed in the stay in the past if that makes any sense to anyone now i'm trying to get to the tippy top again but i seem to forget how to do it Excuse me if I get a little lost. If I get that lost, I may just jump cut. Or I may just keep talking and playing. Like I always do. Talk and play, talk and play. And I'm using my Kirk hammer on the other character as my tank weapon. And I think it's safe to say that I like... Um like Ludwig's Holy Blade better than the Kirk Hammer. I don't know, for some reason, the Kirk Hammer just seems to be slower. It just seems like it, like the attacks are slower. And I don't know why. I don't know if that's like purposely because it's a hammer or what. It has a little bit more strength, though. I will give it that. It is a little bit more powerful. How do I get back up? I know there's a way to get over there. I know there's a way. I just gotta remember it. Need to get to that platform which is higher up than this platform which means that I should go back down here and like I said these guys hit hard How do I get back up there? All these windy staircases mess me up with sometimes. Oh, here's some more guys. Ooh, a little bit of frame rate issues there. Nope, you're not getting me. Good thing I'm picking up a lot of Quicksilver bullets, though. I could use them. Is this the one where you can go around? I don't think it is, no.
Silly me, man. I can't seem to remember how to get up. <clears throat> I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to find a way back up. I promise. I promise. Like I said, though, I may... I may jump cut. Because apparently I do not know where I'm going. So, I need to get to a floor above me, it looks like. But I don't think this leads to anywhere. No, it doesn't. I hope I didn't miss my chance. I hope that's not like a one-shot thing. Because I really want to get it on camera. Or do I have brain fluid in my inventory? Because <clears throat> if I have another brain fluid, I'm, I could just reload. No. We're gonna use a bold hunter's mark and reawaken just to see. Alrighty guys, I am back after the jump cut and I found the other way to get back up. I was just being extremely stupid. I was being a dumbass. So silly me, I'm sorry for wasting your time. I I sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Up we go. Up we go, up we go, do 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 do. I do like the Kanehurst armor, though. Sedative. found the way to go. I was just being a very, very, very silly goose egg. An extremely silly goose. It's one of those things where when you finally see it, you're like, wow, I was that dumb. And yes, yes I was. But it happens to the best of us. So this balcony is the one that wraps around. These naked ones hit hard. And these guys ran up here. Okay. I guess he just jumped to his death and I retrieved my blood echoes that way. Win-win. Win-win. So as I was saying, um, yeah, you need to, we need to come up to this upper balcony so that we can get the second thing of brain fluid so that we can complete this little side thing. Which actually leads to a pretty cool little area and a cool little rune that actually helps you get some different dialogue. So we come up here. Do, 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 do. Sorry. And now we got the other brain fluid that we needed. So we are going to reawaken. And on my other character, I actually had to reawaken a couple times to get this to work. I don't know what the specific trigger for it is, but I'm guessing if it's not reawaken, you actually have to... <clears throat> it's 
excuse me, you actually have to leave the area and come back to get this to work, but I'm not entirely sure. Hello? Hello? Please, I'm trying. Hello? Is that who I think it is? Please. Oh, please, I need brain fluid. Please bring, I must have it. Without it, I'll be sent back. Yes, that's it. Let me have it. Saved me. Take this charm. Lady Maria gave it to me, but it is all I can offer, other than my own blood. Please, do not abandon me. I promise to do good. And like I said, I'm gonna bold hunter's mark out of here. And this may be the only loading screen that I don't cut out because it, it shouldn't take that long to load. I've noticed Bloodborne's load times have gotten a little bit better, especially if you just go to the same area again. So once we reawaken again and run over here, we should see... Okay, just found it out. I guess the trigger is leaving the area. So, we can go to the Hunter's Dream. Then we will leave the Hunter's Dream again. It's kind of annoying having to reload the entire area. Let's keep reloading the area. Alright, now that we're back. We come into this room again. And apparently she is still there. Oh, the sticky trick. How extraordinary. Can you hear? <laughs> I've already gotten that dialogue. But we did get the balcony key from her. I don't know what the other prompt is for her to continue her little set in dialogue. So, we have gotten the balcony key, and we are going to read that. Key to the balcony on the first floor of the research hall. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower gave this pendant to Adeline. Maria had hoped Adeline would find comfort in the faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside, but Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. And we are going to go into that balcony next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little off and a little different, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next episode when we go to the balcony. Bye-bye. Bang.